Hi everybody, it's me, Jolene. I'm going to take you on an adventure with me. I quite often like to hunt amongst the bits and pieces that other people throw away. And these videos are a collection of what I discover. Today, it's auction day. And uh, this is a little lot that I won recently. Let's unwrap it and see what I got. So as you probably saw from the beginning of this video, this is a huge box, uh, complete with three lots in it that I won from an auction in Norwich. Hello to all the Norwich people. Um, this is a lovely collection of book plates, images that would have been stuck into books. Of course, nowadays, uh, when we receive an illustrated book, the pictures are printed beautifully into the actual book itself. But um, way back when, uh, illustrations would be stuck separately into the book. And so this was a little lot of vintage book plates. Um, there's some beautiful images in this, lots and lots of animal prints and some lovely prints from a book which um, I think as I go through I find out it's from a fairy tale book. I have had quite a few people asking me what I will do with these bits and pieces of ephemera. Some of them I will scan in and keep. Some of them uh, will go to the Etsy page as bundles, but a lot of them I will use in my own artwork. So the prints that you saw at the beginning, there's a lot of chicken prints, chicken and ducks. <laughs> was obviously somebody that liked to collect that. Um, I will use those to uh, create collages with um, quite a lot of sort of Tisha Moore style collages. Um, and later on when you're going to see through this bundle there's a load of machinery and it's given me an idea to construct a steampunk type uh, junk journal so uh, keep your eyes peeled make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you might even see me construct that in the future um so as we're going through this, you can see lots and lots of unusual kind of animal images, um, lots of historical images of machinery, of houses. Oh, here's the steampunky images. These are going to be great to use in a steampunk album. I don't scan everything in and use it because I quite like using original pieces of uh, work and these particular images were not that costly that I'm um, minding using them direct. If I was going to spend an awful lot of money on an image then yes I might scan it in and reuse. Now these are quite interesting, these little brown images. You're going to see in a minute there's quite a collection of them towards the end uh, and they're, they almost look like little chalk drawings. Of course they're printed so they're not. So here's a good old bundle of these fairy tale images. Um, they are absolutely stunning and I may well scan these in for uh, common use for the people on the Facebook group, which the link is below. So if you're interested in using some of those, they may well become part of something in the future that is downloadable by everyone. So here are these um, brown images. They're really lovely. I mean, the subject matter obviously is a little bit taboo. It's of hunting, but I, I think, you know, there's bits of them that could be used. So here's these, um, some more of these lovely fairy plates. And these have actually got the tissue front to them as well, which is going to be such good fun to use. Um, as I said, these, a lot of these, I'm going to scan them in for public use on the Facebook group. So uh, do join there if you would like to use some of those. I think they're, they're so beautiful. They're worth being shared. Um, as I go through this lot, when I come to the back there, you're going to see well, you'll see in a minute. Let, I'll hold on to the surprise for you. Come on then, clever people. Who's this? This is an incredible artifact. Great big hardback picture. 
Okay, let's pick up the next lot and see what we got. As you remember, this is uh, one auction that I won three uh, lots in. And this was a lot of large uh, Victorian photographs. And these are really interesting. They're very hard-backed photographs. Um, beautiful, obviously, historical value. Um, lovely wedding one here. And then there is three three of the same photo of the same man. Quite an austere man. Look at him. Wasn't he important? <laughs> so important, in fact, that he had the same photo printed three times. Perhaps he was going to, I don't know, send it to his children. I love to invent stories. I think what's really interesting about these large images is they have so much space around them that they are um, useful for writing bits and pieces in. So I took a little bit of a gamble on this lot. Um, as you know, normally I tend to buy ephemera or bits and pieces I can use for my journaling. But um, I happened to be actually watching the auction live and these came up and they weren't selling. Uh, and in fact, I managed to get them for five pounds. And I got them because I wanted to use the imagery as a kind of like a print. Um... And I was going to use them originally on my jelly plate, but actually having received them and realised that these are vintage snuff bottles, uh, I've decided instead I'm going to protect them from the paint and ink uh, and instead I'm going to use them um, in clay. So you might be forgiven into imagining that these are perfume bottles, but actually these are original um, snuff bottles. And the carvings on them are absolutely stunning and quite pronounced. And so they will work, I think, you'll see the experiments later on, they will work really well with clay. So you might be asking, what was a snuff bottle? Well, in the um, Qing dynasty, uh, in the Mongolian uh, tribes, these were used to contain powdered tobacco because tobacco was actually banned. It was illegal during the Qing dynasty. Um, but the use of snuff, they allowed that because it was a, seen as a remedy for common illnesses and colds and headaches. So they would produce... Um, there's a little spoon inside each of these snuff bottles and they would remove that little spoon and it would have a little bit of powdered tobacco on it and they would sniff it and apparently that would help your cold go away. <laughs> we could use some of that now, right? Anyhow, I hope you've liked this lovely little video. Uh, do subscribe if you want to see some more and obviously go and head to the rest of the videos to see what else I do and perhaps to see what I get up to uh, with my finds. I'll see you all soon. Bye.